Some cities and states are finding it harder and harder to administer the coronavirus vaccine. And here's why. More people who want the shot have gotten it or are getting it, and that's leaving only those who are reluctant. CBS 4's Natalie Brand has what's being done to ease some of that reluctance from Washington, D.C. Vaccine hesitancy is becoming the latest coronavirus challenge as supply is outpacing demand in some communities. We don't need to have every American vaccinated, but we do need to have most. And I hope I hope most Americans decide this is really a safe and effective vaccine that is good for them and it's good for their families. A new CBS News poll shows more than one in five Americans, or around 22 percent, say they will not get the vaccine. Another 18 percent are still unsure. About half of Republicans surveyed say they are either unsure or will not get the shot. I encourage people to talk to their doctors, talk to people you trust, talk to your pharmacists. Don't listen to politicians. Don't listen to senators. Don't listen to me. Talk to the people in your life who you trust. Overall, the majority of Americans say they will get vaccinated or have already received at least one dose. Doctors say it's important not to skip the second dose of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. It is critical that everybody get their second shot because uh, that's the only way we know that it's going to really protect you for any extended period of time. More states are expected to resume using the one shot Johnson and Johnson vaccine this week, but with added warnings after rare cases of blood blood clots. The CDC is also expected to announce new guidance in the coming days about wearing masks outdoors. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.